with world champion Daniel Williams and world silver medalist Hans Apartman, will Jamaica experience hurdle dominance in Eugene at the Prefontaine Classic starting tomorrow? Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know in the next video drops you drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button and finally leave your thoughts after this post analysis where we take a look at it and we break down the ratings. So, ready? Yeah? Good to go. Well, first up, we have to say happy belated birthday to the remarkable Daniel Williams. Ants in a milk, we say. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Well, her birthday was actually yesterday, people. So it's a belated birthday wish. Now, Daniel Williams. Wow. What can I say? Has had the greatest latter part of a season in quite some time. Well, certainly since 2015. Becoming the surprising for many world champion in the women's 100 meter hurdles and has remained virtually unbeaten since then. Hans Apartman, silver medalist in the men's 110 meter hurdles and since then has been also unbeaten in since he came second to Grant Holloway. So is Jamaica looking at a 100 meter hurdle and 110 meter hurdle win in UG at the Prefontaine Classic? What's the birthday girl now? Ah! looking yeah, cute happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy, happy birthday, birthday dear Nancy. Nancy. happy birthday to you the world champion lines up alongside the best in the world including this young lady Nia Ali Jasmine Camacho Quinn who represents for Puerto Rico the fastest in the world for the 2023 season, Kendra Harrison of the United States, as well as her Jamaican compatriot, the remarkable Megan Tapper, Jamaica's national champion, and Toby Abbasan, the world record holder. The women's 100, and 100 meter hurdles also include the likes of Alasia Johnson, Tia Jones, and uh, Pia of Poland. Harrison gets a very good start from his Charlton over in one, but the world champion Williams is just about ahead at the moment. He's got a half a yard on the field. Can she last this out? They're all charging fast, but Williams wins it! As I said in the intro, Daniel Williams has been on a tear since she won in Budapest in the women's 100 meter hurdles finals. And third from the right hand side, but it's Devon Charlton who got the best start. Now she's clapped at the hurdles, trying to come through. Williams running really well on the far side. Kenny Harrison trying to get in the mix. So to Camacho Quinn, it might be. So I believe there is a distinct possibility that she could also win the Diamond League final at the Prefontaine Classic starting tomorrow, Saturday, the 16th into the 17th of September. Hans Apartment has also been on a tear, being unbeaten as he lines up beside Daniel Roberts, who came, who won the bronze in Eugene, and the world champion, three-time world champion, Grant Holloway. We think that, the, given the fact that he's been unbeaten, meaning uh, Parchment, he could win in Eugene. In fact, since then, he has run an astounding 12.96, his season's best and one of the fastest times for the 2023 season in the men's 110 meters hurdles. I do think he is the clear favorite going in to Eugene. He's also beaten Grant Holloway and Daniel Williams by at least a meter in their last outing.
so we do not expect a repeat of the World Championship final. Parchment! 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 Now this of course is my two cents. Both Daniel Williams in the women's 100 meter hurdles and Hans Apartment in the men's 110 meter hurdles have both been unbeaten since World Championships. And I think this could continue in to Eugene starting tomorrow, in to Sunday. In other words, I believe Jamaica has a very, very strong opportunity here to completely dominate in Eugene. Certainly um, with Hans Apartment who has beaten both his rivals, Daniel Roberts and uh, Grant Holloway in uh, all the races since the World Championships. Now, Holloway is known for winning in Eugene. It's his home, so to speak. So he's going to put on a fight. But I think Hans goes in with a slight advantage and he should win. Not, not absolutely 100%, but he should win. Daniel Williams is having the time of her life. And I also think that she goes in with the slight edge psychologically. She's beaten almost all these women since World Championships, and I think she could beat them again. Well, of course, I'm gonna tell you, this is hurdles. And if there's one technical error, everything goes out the door. But I believe Jamaica has a very, very strong chance of dominating in the women's 100 meter hurdles and the men's 110 meter hurdles, meaning we have a huge opportunity, not 100%, but at least 90 something in my opinion, of winning both women's 100 meter hurdles and the men's 110 meter hurdles at the Prefontaine Classic happening over there in Eugene, Oregon at the Hayward Field Stadium. And of course, you and I remember that with the women's 100 meter hurdles last year, in both the semifinals and finals, we saw some of the fastest time we've ever seen. People, the Eugene track is incredibly fast. The only thing is, is there's a very end of the season, it's the last Diamond League, won the Diamond League race. So I'm not sure if we're going to see any blisteringly fast times because everybody should be actually pretty tired. And like I said, it's very, very strange to me that both Hans Apartment and Danny Williams seems to be, I shouldn't say strange, but unfortunate in some respects. Fortunate for Danny Williams, but slightly unfortunate for Hans Apartment that they're peaking at the end of the season. Um, Daniel Williams clearly peaked at the very correct time, winning that gold medal. But I believe Hans Apartment that had a week in between, he would have probably beaten the great Grant Holloway. But this, of course, is my two cents. Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit the like button. And remember, we will be covering both, both days. That is Saturday the 16th, Sunday the 17th of the Eugene Diamond League, better known as the Prefontaine Classic. Remember your Royals, Kings and Queens. Bless up.